Let's take a look at some basic window functions in Windows 7. Some of these techniques will be familiar to those of you who have used Windows before, but some of them will be new even if you've used Windows Vista before. OK, so here is the free Windows game Spider Solitaire, exactly as it would appear when you first load it from the start menu. The common window controls, which are the same in virtually every Windows application you run, are Minimize and Close. Obviously, clicking Close here would exit the application. Clicking Minimize shrinks the application down to the taskbar. Items on the taskbar are now represented by icons. To maximize the window again, simply click on the program's icon. The middle button on a window here changes depending on what state the window is in. When a window is maximized, the button is called Restore. Let's click it now and see what happens. The window becomes slightly smaller. Why would you want to do this? Well, now you can resize and move the window easily. To move the window, simply click with your left mouse button on the title bar here. Now, hold your mouse button down and drag the window wherever you want it. When you've positioned the window, let go of the mouse button. To resize a window, move your mouse pointer to the edge of the window. Watch how it turns into these two little arrows. Now, click your left mouse button and hold it down. Drag with the mouse, and then let go when the window reaches the desired size. You can resize from any side, or from the corners. This allows you to adjust the width and height at the same time. So I'm holding my mouse down there. As you can see, I'm free to resize the window in both directions. If we look at the Restore button now, it has changed to Maximize. Clicking Maximize expands the window back up to full size again. Let's look now at some of the cool new ways we can interact with Windows in Windows 7. As you've seen, the taskbar has been completely overhauled for Windows 7. I'm just going to minimize Spider for now. I've got two Windows Explorer windows open here. You can just about make out that there appears to be another box or icon underneath the top icon. You can just see the edge of it here. This shows there's more than one window open of this type of program. When you hover your mouse over the icons on the taskbar, you'll see a preview like this. In Windows 7, you can also hover your mouse over the preview and see a full screen preview of your window. This will temporarily turn all the other windows transparent, so you can focus on the window you are previewing. This is called Aero Peak. This is even better than Vista's peak function. To switch to the window you want to work with, simply click on the preview. This feature works with Internet Explorer too. If you are using tab browsing, you'll see previews of your open tabs when you hover over the icon. This doesn't work on some third-party browsers yet, but it won't be long before they catch up. Again, to go to the tab you want to see, simply click it. Finally, if you are used to working with multiple windows, you'll know that windows can often become cluttered on your desktop. Well, Windows 7 gives you a few neat tools to help with this. Most useful, in my opinion, is AeroSnap. If I take the Windows Explorer windows, just minimize Internet Explorer for now. If I take this window and move it and drag it off the screen, just keep dragging, 
You'll notice a little border has popped up here. If I now let go, the window snaps to that border. This has resized the window to exactly half of the screen width. Say I was working on two locations on my computer. Well, I could take the other Windows Explorer window and click and hold with my mouse drag it to the edge, keep dragging until this border appears again now let go of my left mouse button and the window snaps to the frame and there we have it two perfectly arranged and sized windows also new is Aero Shake. If I have a lot of windows open, all piled on top of one another messily, say for example, something like this, you can now grab the window you want to work with from the chaos and holding down my left mouse button, shake the window quite vigorously by moving your mouse quickly from left to right. And there we go. All the other windows are minimised and I'm left with just the window I want to work with. You can also use Aero Snap on the top of the screen to automatically maximise a window. That concludes our tour of basic Windows functions in Windows 7. Try out some of the techniques yourself. We're sure they'll help you become more productive.